Today is a topic dealing with a profile on Dr. Calvin Atchison, a longtime Tennessee State University administrator, as well as a community activist. And of course, Dr. Uh, Atchison, the information that you gave us uh, during uh, your earlier career and experiences was just precious. And, and we believe that uh, uh, now you should be able to give us some information about uh, an institution that you've been involved with all, for a long time, and that's Tennessee State University. How did you uh, come to Tennessee State University? How did you first hear about Tennessee State University? Well, the first uh, I heard about Tennessee State University and the position which I took, there was a lady working here whom I knew from Johnson C. Smith in Charlotte, North Carolina. She called me one night and asked if I could come and take her place during that summer because she wanted to go away and study. So I came for that summer and I was told that they had a full-time position and they would like for me to remain. So I would return to North Carolina, work two weeks to clear my desk, mm -hmm. and I came to Tennessee State as a full-time teacher. Mm -hmm. I was in the psychology department with Dr. M. I. Claiborne, mm -hmm. and uh, we began to spread the department so that we had majors. Mm -hmm. For the most part, we, we were a service department mm -hmm. to education, mm -hmm. and we began to attract majors to come. Well, Dr. Walter S. Davis mm -hmm. was president at that time, mm -hmm. and uh, Dr. Davis, how he knew so many mm -hmm. faculty members and students, mm -hmm. I don't know, because mm -hmm. he called me to come in one day and talk with him. Here again, it's a, it was a miracle, seemingly. So we talked about my experience, and uh, he said he wanted me to go to, go to college, I mean, university, mm -hmm. finish my degree. I had a master's degree. Mm -hmm. So uh, I said, well, uh, I just don't have the money now. Well, don't worry about it. we get a scholarship for you. So I went to Indiana University on a full-time scholarship. I was uh, drawing my full salary from Tennessee State University, a full-time student at Indiana University. I had a one-year full scholarship, and I was determined to get my degree in that one year because I had completed two years at Columbia, and I graduated from uh, Indiana University in one year and came back and after that Dr. Davis would always call on me if he mm -hmm. wanted me to do a special job. Mm -hmm. At that time the State Department was asking Tennessee State to do a lot of things, get involved in uh, mm -hmm. studying the programs and all of the activities involved in student activities. Mm -hmm. There was a lady, Dr. Charity Mance, mm -hmm. who was head in a program I remember we were, each day we would meet and we would build uh, objectives and mm -hmm. revise and the total curriculum. Mm -hmm. And it was quite a learning experience for me, so I always made myself available to work on special projects. Mm -hmm. The White House Conference on Youth was held in 1960. Mm -hmm. The State Department had asked Dr. Davis to conduct a research study. Mm -hmm. The theme was the value we hold. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Davis called me in and told me that he wanted me to direct that mm -hmm. research project. Mm -hmm. And he said, you have this, just this, this summer to do it. Mm -hmm. I will assign you some teachers to work with you mm -hmm. and give you whatever is needed to do this job. Mm -hmm. I want to meet with you every morning and have breakfast. Mm -hmm. He, we didn't meet in the office. If he wanted to talk with you, you'd go up to his house mm -hmm. and have breakfast with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would meet every morning, and I told him, I said, Dr. Davis, I prefer having a group of students. Mm -hmm. I know what is to be done. I know how much needs to be done. Mm -hmm. He said, well, you select the students you want to work mm -hmm. with you. We conducted the study, the values we hold, and it was value practice of ten ten Tennessee teachers. Mm -hmm. They had a value system of education. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to know if 
in the research study, we wanted to know if these teachers mm -hmm. are practicing the values that they believe mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. First of all, do they believe in the values? Mm -hmm. And second, do they practice mm -hmm. them? Mm -hmm. So I built a, a, a questionnaire to do that study. When, they, when the study was completed, Dr. Davis was asked to present it to the legislature. He took me down. Mm -hmm. We presented it, and it was selected for me to go to Washington and present in the White House Conference. I spent one week there at the White House Conference on Children and Youth. Mm -hmm. And after that, any time Dr. Davis wanted me to do a job, <laughs> he called me to come up to his house, mm -hmm. not his office. For, for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> come up to his house. Mm -hmm. The second job he gave me, special job, Tennessee State University had never directed its own self-study. Mm -hmm. And this was the first time that it was supposed to be directed from the campus. And I had an office, a little cubicle office, downtown mm -hmm. in the education department where all of the records, all of the records and information mm -hmm. was down there that I needed mm -hmm. to conduct this self-study. Mm -hmm. During this period is when Dr. Davis was taken ill and he had to leave before the study was completed. Mm -hmm. But uh, Dr. Fancher came in mm -hmm. and completed the study while Dr. Floyd, mm -hmm. no, I believe it was Dr. Torrance. Mm -hmm. Dr. Torrance came in and Title III was on hand. I had to do Title III and he said, well, you're gonna need some help. Mm -hmm. And uh, he came in and divided the responsibility with Dr. Fancher mm -hmm. and with me mm -hmm. so that we co could complete that first self-study. It was a self-study that we all do mm -hmm. at these universities, mm -hmm. sponsored by the Southern Association of mm -hmm. Colleges and Schools. Mm -hmm. And we did that study, and we had a good record. Mm -hmm. But Dr. Davis was taken ill and left before the study was mm -hmm. completed, mm -hmm. and it was completed under Dr. Turner. Mm -hmm. But when Dr. Davis wanted a job mm -hmm. done, Mm -hmm. He would call the meeting himself. And, and of course, uh, 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 Dr. Epson, let's uh, stop our second commercial break and then we'll come back and yeah. we'll pick up at this point. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. We're talking to Dr. Calvin Atchison.